TickPick. No hidden fees. Download today. You know how, I'll tell you how, you know how I became a, new, uh, a stand-up comedian? I'll tell you. I was at a recovery meeting, and there was a kid that was had, a man, who had, he was like 30 or something. He had like um, 30 days clean off cocaine. And uh, somebody introduced me to him and said, hey, do you want to give this guy a ride home? Will you give this guy a ride home? And I thought to myself on the inside, I thought like, why don't you give him a ride home? Why are you asking yeah. me? You know, but I've learned to say yes to life. Right. And I said, sure, I'll give this guy a ride home. So I, I, um, uh, I give him a ride home. I don't know anything about him. And, and I start taking him to recovery meetings. And uh, I would go get coffee before the meetings, and he would never order anything. And I asked him, I said, uh, are you broke? And he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm broke. I'm like, do you have groceries? In, or, uh, do you have groceries? Or he had no car. He, his car's broken down. He had no, and I'm like, do you have groceries? And he's like, no. So I'm like, all right, I'll take you grocery shopping. I'm like, where do you shop at? This dude took me to Whole Foods. You know, do you know, do you have Whole Foods yep. out here? Yep. It's like, he got like this little basket for like a hundred bucks, but I took him grocery shopping and I just did my part and uh, we became good friends. It turns out he was a stand-up comedian. I had never done stand-up comedian comedy before. I was an actor and I, but I never, never in a million years thought I'd be a comedian because I didn't think I was creative or funny or, you right. know. And so he invited me to go to this beginner show at the comedy store and I went and saw it and like half the comedians were terrible. And I had done spe- so much public speaking mm-hmm. at, in the jails, and I tell these drug stories that made people laugh. And I, after the show, I told them, I'm like, I could do drug stories, tell some drug stories, and be as funny as half of those guys making a joke. And he's like, you want to try it? And I'm like, uh, okay. Not? Yeah. yeah, so I, I'm, again, I'm, I say yes to life. So he put me up at this beginner show uh, like a week later, and I told some drug stories, and then I wrapped it up with a recovery message. And... Uh, the guy, the host comes up after me, and I got like high fives coming down. It was probably really terrible, but it was more about getting sober than it was about making people laugh. But it, people were high fiving me, and the host comes back up, and he's like, he's like, holy shit, I didn't know this was an AA meeting. And uh, everybody laughed and stuff, and that was the first time I did stand up. And so, flash forward years later, I'm at, I'm uh, doing a show. I'm at the most famous comedy club on the st- stage at the comedy store in the main room. I'm behind the curtain, about to walk through the same curtain that Richard Pryor, Jay Leno, David Letterman, Dave Chappelle, all the greatest comedians in history, Eddie Murphy, they've all walked out through this curtain. And I'm hosting the show, and I'm talking to Bill Burr. And I'm about to walk on that stage and take the mic, and I'm going to introduce Bill Burr, one of the biggest comedians out there right now. And I thought to myself, how did this happen? How did this happen? I was 118 pounds, missing teeth, living out of my car. How did I get on the most famous stage in the world about to introduce one of the biggest comedians in the country? How did this happen? You know what happened? I helped a newcomer. I was of service. I gave somebody a ride home. You know? What if I was selfish and self, self-centered that day? What if I said no? My whole life changed from being a service to another human being. My whole life changed. Wow. And see you getting choked up talking about yeah, this stuff, yeah. man. This is... I'm a stand-up comedian. I toured the country <laughs> because I helped a newcomer. Yeah. You know? Wow. Holy shit. And uh, again, I just, I got to stay in that mentality. I got to stay in the mentality of what can I bring to people? How can I be of service? You know? Instead of what can I get out of everything, you know? Uh, and if I just, if I go through life with that mentality, everything else is going to work out. 